second update today, Cardano. And Cardano is still trending down. And I saw some more uh, solid on uh, social media today, or actually in the past weeks, regarding the price movement. Um, so we're going to do a very short update of Cardano because I actually believe that altcoins are getting into a beautiful period in time where you should start accumulating them or at least we are facing the weeks that you should be starting to accumulate them. And I've received some negativity regarding my price prediction of Cardano that it might even hit $1.50 before we're going to turn bullish on that one. So. Um, in that case, I'm uh, making a new update today, but before that, do not forget to subscribe beneath to the YouTube channel, subscribe to the newsletter, which is going to be new next week, and also do not forget to like me, uh, this YouTube update, and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Looking at the price action of Cardano against USDT, I think it's one of the most ugliest price action I've seen in a while, but still we can derive a few price points that are interesting to watch. We have briefly mentioned a few levels earlier in which we stated, hey, uh, the previous high, that might be a level for interest, right? Which is around $1.80. Right now, we are currently seeing the fact that Cardano has been seeing such a correction of approximately 45%. Um, and we're actually getting to the point where uh, we are into um, dip buying or we're looking for entries because if something goes vertical like this, you're not really looking for entries at all, unless you're going to scalp trade, for instance. But you're looking for take profits on your swing trades. And um, we're at, right now with Cardano, after such a heavy correction, the actual example is on the left. That is where you're going to find yourself looking for entry points um, um, for new swing trades and for a new bull wave to be taking place on the markets. So based on that fact, we are looking at some entry points. And I've stated that this entire block that we have around $1.50 has not been seeing a test yet. So we are seeing those highs here. We are seeing this entire block here. But we're not seeing any real tests since the breakout yet. So if we get there, it brings us the sweet spot for entry points, right? And if you're interested in Cardano, and if you want to include it in your portfolio, these are still the regions where you want to stake or want to get into them. What do we see on the daily time frame too, is that we are making lower highs, lower lows. And until that is still taking, uh, still happening on the markets, we might be still seeing some more downwards momentum taking place, especially given that we have lost this support zone. So we might be getting a bounce towards $2.10 get another drop south and then might lose towards 150 but this is probably this drop down is probably going to be the question through which uh whether bitcoin is going to have another correction to 50k or not that is that's just debatable right at this stage but after a correction since september for already 45 percent in a bull market and already uh, going towards the crucial levels of interest I think if you're going to use the DCA strategy in this entire block with a clear invalidation beneath this previous low or beneath this previous low here around 125, you're doing pretty much fine. Because if we're going to have another run for Cardano, the first sweet spot that we're going to look at for take profits is this region around $4.50 resulting into 200% of profits approximately. So definitely then you're going to be getting interest in the market. So the critical pr price point for Cardano to break through is this entire level around $2.10. And then second, the question will become whether we're going to hold 175 once again or whether we're going to actually have that corrective move all the way down. Looking at Cardano against Bitcoin, we do still see the same price action taking place. We are retesting a, a important level here. And actually, if you look at Cardano against Bitcoin in the weekly price chart, I would not be too bullish at all. But at least we are into a level that finds points of interest. So the first um, support zone we are, uh, we are currently on is the previous high that could be becoming support here. And therefore, you could be getting into a position at this stage because... The RSI is completely reset. We might be getting a bullish divergence, but we still have a few critical levels that we have to break through, which is this entire zone of 36. So therefore, two 
two ways to start accumulating. One, in the case that we're going to drip off like we have been seeing here, you could be getting into a position by just accumulating in these two regions and then you can just start scaling in slowly. But I do, I know, uh, do understand that we are into a region where you want to get interested into the markets for Cardano, also on the Bitcoin pair and on the USDT pair, as I've been discussing previously. The second one is that you're going to look at a bounce up towards 3800 around that region. I don't believe we're going to have a higher bounce, just like we have to seen the price action here previously too. We could be having any run in the downtrend as well. And then after that, another retest taking place in December, resulting into a double bottom confirmation before we start to shoot off into a new bull cycle for Cardano too. So as a conclusion of this very short update on this Friday, altcoins are getting there. We are getting into interesting levels and I am going to share that on socials and in the newsletter, I'm going to go more in depth and in the platform, you can find my entire portfolio, how I trade, how you should trade and even more. But I think we should still be relatively cautious because Bitcoin is just correcting heavily because of a strong dollar, because of some strong yields. That's about it. But I think we're getting there. And that's the conclusion of today. Do not forget to subscribe to the newsletter and YouTube, um, which you can find beneath. Very easy. Um, next week's will be free for the newsletter. Also, do not forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And I'll see you again tomorrow.